Good afternoon and welcome, Your Highness, Excellencies, honored guests, as well as our audience on Facebook Live. My name is Hadley Gamble. I'm with the anchor and Middle East correspondent for CNBC News, and I'm very excited to welcome all of you to the launch of Virgin Hyperloop One here in the UAE. Now, here to give you a very brief preview of what exactly this technology is and what it will mean to you, a quick video. On demand. Today it's novel, tomorrow it will be expected. The global growth of e-commerce is driving a consumer behavior shift where goods and services are delivered rapidly, immediately. DP World sees the need for an advanced new network to support this future. Throughout history, cargo has always been the catalyst for transport revolutions. Today, DP World has partnered with Virgin Hyperloop One to realize the next leap in transport and make Hyperloop a reality. Pushing the boundaries of innovation, having the courage to do something different. The new cutting edge linear electric motor propels the pod magnetically through the interportal. A series of pumps remove nearly all the air inside the tube to allow for an energy efficient, quiet, and incredibly fast journey. Our future ports will integrate Hyperloop technology for synchronized, seamless, intelligent movement of cargo. On demand, direct, autonomous. Hyperloop can deliver exceptional service for high priority on demand goods at the cost of trucking and the speed of flight. Sustainable operations powered by renewable energy. Utilizing network capacity for both freight and passengers. Goods are seamlessly transferred to autonomous vehicles while passengers are taken to the heart of the city. Rapid, effortless deliveries and the freedom from having to plan too far ahead. Efficient supply chains that unlock greater capacity for growth. It's what the world demands. Introducing DP World Cargo Speed. And now I'd like to invite to the stage the visionary man and leader behind what DP World has been trying to do, the chairman and CEO of DP World himself. He's the man behind the technology that we've just been watching about changing the way that cargo is moved, changing the infrastructure, changing the way that goods and services get to all of us across the world. I'd like to ask him to come to the stage now for a few remarks. Dr. Sultan. Your Highness, Mr. Richard Bansen, His Highness, Sheikh Maktoum, distinguished guests, it's our pleasure and honor today to announce that DP World has joined technologies that will be instrumental in connecting cargo around the world with, the, with, with, with basically airspeed at the price of transportation by land. His Highness initiated adapting technology. And I remember when His Highness announced the electronic government, many of us didn't know what he meant, which, meant, which basically he wanted to remove using paperwork and start utilizing electronic documentation. Today, we handle over, process over 19 million documents electronically, which means if you divide them, there'll be at least 50,000 50, documents per day, which is impossible to do manually. Had His Highness done, adapted that system, Dubai would not be able today to handle the business we handle today. We are proud that Jabal Ali Port today handled 15 and a half million containers. In numbers, United States as a country handled 30 million. Jabal Ali alone had 15 and a half million. We in DP World, Your Highness, realize that the technology is changing. Our role used to be, like many people, from the time the ship come to the dock, 
until the cargo leaves the gate. But that is not sustainable. Today, things are changing. Today, our role is not in the port. Our role is from the time the cargo leaves the factory till it reaches the consumer door. The world today, there is no intermediaries. Service provider with consumer. Uber. Uber is a relation between passenger and a driver and nobody in between. In cargo, the same thing will happen. And today, with DP World 78 terminals, we have 70 million containers around the world. We have 53,000 people. There is a lot of inefficiency in the supply chain. So what does this cargo speed mean for the cargo owners? We are selling time. We are selling to people time. So today, with this system, you can move any cargo around the world in less than 14 hours. Whether you are in China or the North Pole, it will not take more than 14 hours. From China to Europe, maybe 10 to 11 hours. From Dubai to Saudi Arabia, it will be maybe 40, 45 minutes to an hour. Going at 1,200 kilometers per hour. The cost of building a train to carry the cargo is half the cost of the fast trains in Europe today. The ability to transport something fast by air at the cost of trucking. So everybody today wants something fast. And this is what will happen today. We joined with Sir Richard Branson as an innovator in technology. We are proud that he accepted to become the chairman of the company. When we actually, when I called him, he told me, 20 years ago, I stopped being a chairman of a company. And I told him, we will not put our money in something that doesn't have somebody who believes in technology. And he agreed to become the chairman. DP World is the largest investor in Hyperloop. To us, your highness, this is a disruptive innovation. This is an innovation that if we ignore it, maybe one day we'll find ourselves in a situation where our role is not as good as it is. Hyperloop, Your Highness, we're promoting transporting cargo from city to city. So when we looked at them, there is no port in between, and that concerned us. So our investment is survival and innovation, and we will make sure whatever we do together will enhance the value and make trading and export and import much more efficient for the people in the intermodal industry. So today, Your Highness, we're announcing the rebranding is not going to be Hyperloop. It's going to be deep world cargo speed. So this technology, as far as the cargo, we are very interested in it. As far as Richard Branson, the passengers. He has the airlines and he has the knowledge about that, but we are partners in this whole thing. It's an honor 